What's hood, everybody? Welcome to OmniPro Audio. I'm your host, Jace Ace. 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 You know what it is. Digi double O. What's hood, everybody? Before we jump into intro to 002, I want to thank all the producers, engineers, and artists that supported me and linked up with me for tech support, coaching, recording, and mixing. I got a chance to work with so many talented people from around the world, and I look forward to working with you in the near future. Shout out to my homie Ahmed from Cairo, Egypt, my dude Ernie Saunders from Los Angeles, California, my boy Christian Morales from Argentina, my homie Yadis, Disaster Baby from Baltimore, Maryland my guy Floria from Australia, and my guy Allard from Sweden. I'm gonna have to spread these shout outs across my videos because there's too many of y'all to name in one video. If you wanna learn DAWs like Pro Tools, Reasons, or FL Studio, or if you wanna improve your music production, beat making, recording, or mixing skills, hire me as your mentor. Go to OmniProAudio.com and sign up to receive up to 75% off all learning and support sessions. Limited spots are available. Also, for premium top-tier tech support and coaching, schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with me at zoom.omniproaudio.com. Without further delay, let's get to it. For those of you who are new to the 002, the 002 is an audio interface created by DigiDesign in the late 90s, early 2000s for use with Pro Tools. It also works with other digital audio workstations. However, using these units as a control surface is limited to Pro Tools only. The rack and control surface units sound and behave the same, except the control surface is bigger with motorized faders, extra knobs, and buttons to allow physical control over perimeters and Pro Tools that the rack does not, such as faders, sends, muting tracks, soloing, panning, plug-in control, transport control, arming tracks for recording, zooming in and out, and so much more. So if you have a Digi002 control surface, you can not only record audio and send it in and out of Pro Tools, you can also control your session from the unit and spend less time using your mouse and keyboard. Turning knobs, pressing buttons, and moving faders with your hands is a lot more enjoyable than doing everything with the mouse. If you're having trouble getting your Digi002 or 003 working, Click the video link in the top right hand corner for detailed instructions or go to zoom.omniproaudio.com to schedule a one on one support session with me so we can get you up and going. All right. So we got the 002 rack and we got the 002 console control surface. All right. So here go the features for both the rack and the control surface. You got eight analog audio inputs, four with mic preamps with AD converter supporting up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz audio. High pass filter switches on inputs one through four for filtering out rumbles or AC noise below 75 hertz. 48 volt phantom power on mic preamps, switchable and channel pairs. Minus 10 decibel volt input pair for direct monitoring of tape or CD input sources. Eight analog audio outputs with DA converter supporting up to 24 bits, 96 kilohertz audio. Monitor output pair at plus four dB, mirrors main output one and two with dedicated volume control for direct connection to powered speakers. You also have an alternate main output pair, minus 10 dBV, mirrors main output one and two for direct output to minus 10 dBV devices. We got a stereo headphone output with independent level control, optical connectors for eight channels of ADAT IO up to 48 kilohertz or two channel of optical SPDIF IO up to 96 kilohertz. We also got RCA connectors for two channels of SPDIF digital IO supporting up to 24 bits, 96 kilohertz audio, one MIDI in port and two MIDI out ports providing up to 16 channels of MIDI input and up to 32 channels of MIDI output. Monitor section with mute switch and switches for routing input and output signals and a foot switch for punching in and out while recording. Okay, now it's time for the control surface only features. We got eight motorized touch sensitive faders for controlling track volume and other perimeters. Dedicated solo, mute, and channel select, record arm switches, eight multifunction rotary encoders for operating pan, send, and plug-in controls, quick and convenient access to sends, inserts, plug-in pages, pan settings, and other track functions, large bright LCDs for data display, transport and navigation controls, plus transport mode switches for loop playback, loop record, and quick punch, 
windows switches for Pro Tools display of plugins, mix, and edit windows, navigation and zoom controls, and utility switch for testing 002 functions. Now we're going to move on to the operating modes. The Digi002 can be put in any of these three states when powered on. Standby mode, Pro Tools mode, or standalone mode. So standby mode. The Digi002 is in this mode when you first power the unit on, waiting for you to either launch Pro Tools or put the unit in standalone mode. In standby mode, the unit displays Digi002 and standby in the scribble strips. Standalone LED flashes. Pro Tools mode. The Digi002 is in this mode when the unit is connected to a computer and Pro Tools software is running. If no Pro Tools session is open, the unit displays open or create a new session. When a Pro Tools session is open, the unit mirrors the on-screen controls. In this mode, the standalone mode LED is off. To put the 002 in Pro Tools mode, make sure the unit is properly connected to the computer and in standby mode, then launch Pro Tools. If the unit does not display Pro Tools has a digital screen or open or create a new session, make sure you change the playback engine to Avid 002 under Setup, Playback Engine. Standalone mode. When you put the Digi 002 in standalone mode, the unit becomes an eight channel digital mixer that operates independently from Pro Tools. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube and Patreon to learn more about using the Digi 002 as a standalone mixer. Double Lose.